said, Oh my mother and oh my sister, it's high time you understand. Let me leave you with a hadith that will make every hair on your body stand. If you have the slightest shred of Iman, when I read this hadith, I couldn't control myself. The riwayat comes in. Al-Kabair, Hafiz Shamsuddin Dhabi narrates it. Ali and Fatima radiallahu anha say, We came to Nabi alayhi salatu was salam. Fawajadnahu yabki buka an shadida. I found him crying uncontrollably. He was literally sobbing. I tapped him and I said, Ya Rasulullah, Malladi Abkad. O Nabi of Allah, what makes you cry in this manner? He said, Ya Ali, Layla ta usri yabi ila sama. Raitu nisa min ummati. You are the Nabi and Wail Adab. Ali, I am recalling a moment when I went for Mi'raj and I ascended the heavens. Then on that particular night, I found six categories of the females of my ummah being subjected to such form of torment. Every time I think of that azab, it makes me cry. My sister, your Nabi cried for you and you still cannot cry for yourself. Then the Nabi of Allah started explaining, رَأَيْتُ إِمْرَأَةً مُعَلَّقَةً بِشَعْرِهَا يَغْلِي دِمَاغُهَا I seen a woman hung by her hair, suspended in the depths of Jahannam. يَغْلِي دِمَاغُهَا Her brains were boiling. وَرَأَيْتُ إِمْرَأَةً مُعَلَّقَةً بِلِسَانِهَا And I seen a woman hung on her tongue. وَالْحَمِيمُ يُسَبُّ فِي حَلْقِهَا And the water of Jahannam was poured down her throat. وَرَأَيْتُ إِمْرَأَةً مُعَلَّقَةً بِثَدِيَيْهَا And I seen a woman hung on the upper, upper portion of her chest. وَرَأَيْتُ إِمْرَأَةً قَدْ شُدَّتْ لِجْلَاهَا إِلَى ثَدِيَيْهَا وَيَدَاهَا إِلَى نَاصِيَتِهَا And I seen a woman, her legs were tied to her chest and her hands were tied to her forehead. وَرَأَيْتُ إِمْرَأَةً رَأْسُهَا رَأْسُ خِنْزِيرِ وَبَدَنُهَا بَدَنُ حِمَارِ عَلَيْهَا أَلْفُ أَلْفُ لَوْنٍ مِّنَ الْعَذَابِ Fatima, what can I tell you? I seen one woman, she was disfigured. She had the head of a swine. She had the body of a donkey. Snakes were surrounding her. And the Nabi of Allah burst out into tears. وَرَأَيْتُ إِمْرَأَةً عَلَى سُورَةِ الْكَلْبِ And I seen a woman in the form of a donkey, in the form of a dog. وَالْمَلَائِكَةُ يَضْرِبُونَ رَأْسَهَا بِمَقَامِهَا مِنْ نَارِ And the angels were striking her. Fatima stood up, cried, embraced her father. مَا كَانَ أَعْمَالُ هَا أُولَى O Nabi of Allah, what were the crimes of these women? What were the vices of these women that they were subjected to such form of severe azab? The Nabi of Allah held his daughter and he said, أَمَّا الْمُعَلَّقَةُ بِشَعْرِهَا أَمَّا الْمُعَلَّقَةُ بِشَعْرِهَا فَإِنَّهَا كَانَتْ لَا تُغَتِّي شَعْرَهَا مِنَ الرِّجَالِ O Fatima, with regards to the woman who was hung by her hair and suspended in Jahannam, she walked around outside freely, exposing and revealing her hair to strange men. O oh, Fatima, this is the condition that will, she will suffer on the day of Qiyamah. O oh, my Muslim sister and O oh, brothers, how sad! There are so many youth that are pursuing getting married, but emphatically will tell you, I'm looking for a girl that doesn't dawn herself and doesn't cover herself and doesn't veil herself. And on the contrary, my sister is that girl who tells you I'm looking for a boy, but I don't want a bearded man. When the very criteria of selecting your partner is open violation to the commands of Allah, they don't bother asking us to make dua for prosperity in those marriages. When the grounds of selecting your partner is, I don't want a girl in scarf, then why ask the ulama to make dua for prosperity in your marriages? When you have chosen from the very beginning and inception that you want to violate the orders of Allah. So Fatima, the woman that was hung by her hair, فَإِنَّهَا كَانَتْ لَا تُغَتِّي شَعْرَهَا مِنَ الرِّجَالِ She would live in her hair. Brothers Allah be my witness. I often cry. I wonder in the few years that I am in this community, on very few occasions I have addressed the woman of this community. My heart cries, I make dua to Allah. May Allah guide my daughter, my wife, my sister and the woman of the entire ummah. وَأَمَّا الَّتِي كَانَتْ مُعَلَّقَةً بِلِسَانِهَا وَأَمَّا الَّتِي أُمَيْ سِسْدَ فَاللَّهِ سَيْكْ ثِنْ ثِنْ بُنْدَ The one who was hung by her tongue فَإِنَّهَا كَانَتْ تُعْذِي زَوْجَهَا She used to verbally abuse her husband. The riwayat comes in Tirmizi, Muaz ibn Jabal is the narration. Nabi alayhi salam said whenever a wife verbally abuses her husband إِلَّا قَالَتْ زَوْجَتُهُ مِنَ الْحُورِ الْعِينِ لَا تُعْذِيهِ فَاتَلَكِ اللَّهِ فَإِنَّمَا هُوَ عِنْدَكِ الدَّقِيلِ يُوشِكُ أَنْ يُفَارِقَكِ إِلَيْنَا That may Allah destroy you, a woman. Stop abusing your husband. Very soon he'll be separated from you and he will be united with us in Jannah. وَأَمَّا الَّذِي كَانَتْ مُعَلَّقَةً بِثَدِيَيْهَا And that woman who was hung by the upper portion of her chest. 
Uh, what honor have they given to the Muslim woman? They have made them a commodity to promote things. They have dropped them, they have defamed them, they have disgraced them. Do not fall prey to the temptations that the world has put before you, oh my sister. That woman who is hung by the I'm using a respectable phrase, it refers to the upper portion of her chest. She was an immoral woman, unchaste woman, smiling with strange men, having, you know, going out with strange men. And that woman whose legs were tied to her chest and her hands were tied to her forehead and the, the, the scorpions had surrounded her. This woman was very negligent when it came to the, the, the aspect of purity. When it came to, uh, came to the period after her menstrual cycle, she had to purify women. Allah has been so kind to that sister. Ten days of the week, Allah has exempted her from namaz. But understand the rulings of namaz. If a woman becomes part 15 minutes before sunset, Asr namaz becomes compulsory on her. Our woman delayed till the next morning. Asr goes, Maghrib goes, Isha goes. She takes a part at 12 and she starts with Zohar. Every time she becomes part, this is how she forgets her namaz. This is her condition that her hands will be tied to her chest. Her legs will be tied to her chest. It comes regarding the Sahabiyat. They used to get up at midnight. They used to light the lantern. And then they used to go in the bathroom and see have we become park or not. Our namaz will be compulsory upon us. Today, my sister, you enjoy all comforts and all luxuries. But yet you deny the sword of Allah. And with regards to that woman who has been disfigured and been reduced to that of a donkey, she was one who carried tails. She was one who carried tails. And she used to lie over carrying tails. She used to carry tails. My Nabi passed by the graves of two Sahaba. They are being subjected to severe azab. Uh, it is not a major crime. Nay, it is a major crime, but they consider it not major. One of them had the habit of carrying days. The rewind is in Muslim. Abu Huzaifa is the narrator. One who carries days will never into jan enter Jannah. And the second person suffering in his grave because of negligence with regards to the drops of urine. I end with this hadith. The Nabi of Allah then said, With regards to that woman who was disfigured and given the appearance of a dog. She was a woman who constantly harped on her favors. I have done so much for you. I have, I have done so much for this family. I have done so much for my mother-in-law. I cook so much for my children. I bear, I tolerate so much the, the ill nature of constantly reminding her husband of her favors. Hassada and her heart is an abode of total jealousy. Brothers, these crimes can be also found in men, but relatively it is found more common in women. We make dua to the Almighty Allah that He free our women from all evils and vices. May Allah tell make that we make this the turning point in our life. And I implore my sisters at this juncture that take something to heart. For Allah's sake, cover your hair from today. For Allah's sake, look at the cleanliness, don't have jealous anha. May Allah Ta'ala inspire us with the reality and reward the wives of Nabi Alayhi Salaam, a most befitting reward that he has ever rewarded anyone on behalf of anyone. Wa akhiru da'wana anil alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Anif Laam Meem Thalika Al-Kitab La Rayb Feeh Hudan Lil Muttaqeen Alif Laam Meem This is the scripture whereof there's no doubt, a guidance unto those who ward off evil.